Hello folks and welcome back to Base Ring. Here we are with the Lone Spreader. We've got the Cedar working away on field 62. But as we go into the map, I've have a look. And the pH on these fields 64, 5, 6 or 5. However, 7 and 8 wouldn't he do it, I think it looks like. Defy 63 and most likely needs to up here. Because our goal for today, to get done before the end of November, is to get all the grass in. So if we have a little look under here, we set grass. So all you need to do is 67, 68, and 63 need seeding. Oats are finishing off over here. But for now, we need to focus on the lime spreading. We may need to get more lime. If we do, that is fine by us. And any little bits we miss, we will go and pick up along the way. If the Suicide game allows us to. Because sometimes, there may be bits of where we didn't mean to do that. Back over here. But yeah, we've done the headland over there. We did that sort of towards the end of the last episode. Just so that we don't miss certain bits and that, or having worker issues, so. But whatever the worker can do or get sorted, we'll just finish it off ourselves. So it's not a big issue if the worker can't do everything. And just like that, this field is pretty much done already. Just a few little bits here and there are missed, but... Go and grab those. Okay, so not let's do that, so that's registering it as it has been lined. Fair enough. Not perhaps using the full maximum width, it's just rather be safe and sorry. So that strip there. Okay, that's version that has been done, so fair enough. Next, we got to go to 62, where we're seeding. Lined. But yeah, worker's almost done there, so that makes life a bit easier for us. That's not a lot of lime it requires, it's only what is that, 3.5 tons per hectare. First is that your normal lime spreader and that, that would use this lime a lot quicker. So far, so good. Just looking at with. Try to utilize all of it. But yeah, so anyways, we will continue on with this. Get us all smashed down and done. And I think the worker's got two more passes to do. I don't think he can get that yet. So back down, he's got to come back down once more. And then that's that worker done, so yeah. We'll go and get this all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And there we go, some time later we are done. Made a little gap in the fence in here because helps with access to the fields since these are both our fields and that. We have the right to demolish it, so that's why we sort of create a little open way for there for now. But I do plan on merging these fields together at some point. But really, what I need to do as well at some point is so I get some of these logs down. Like, this one here, not an issue. But there are some on the corners of the fields which are blocking the way. So I think when we cut some of these trees down, if we say keep the main trunk and sell that wood and then get a devourer or something that pretty much can create wood chips. Wood chips are good, they're quite profitable. So how much is a devourer? So I think we that is that something to be or something? I can't remember, it's been a while, so we have a little look. So it costs us a grand to lease it. So really it's one of those things, do we want it? Not too sure. Also, what we've gone and done is gone Funny enough, it's just popped up here. It's accepted a harvesting contract for some potatoes. I thought a little bit of cash in wouldn't do too much of a harm, so we accepted two potato field contracts at 21 and 28. We're almost done with 21, we've leased the equipment for 28. And let's say. We've been given some better access to some of these fields over here. Uh, these are like some tight super lanes here. I mean like ridiculously tight. Especially for a potato harvester and that, so Thankfully the owner of the cornfield there, they've cut their hedgerows down. Not because of us, just a freak coincidence it was, so you know what? Happy days, I'm not complaining. And these are going to the Bally Springs Bud Store, which is just next to... Actually, what are you doing? It's not wasting time, come on. But yeah, Bally Springs Buds, which is next to the garage where we can send our bells and that. But yeah, this field here is almost done. And a lot of this will get us done off camera. Sort of whilst we're doing other bits and bobs of work, so. Just get this turn around. Finish until it's full, and then we'll get the work of going off on it again. Because what we need to do now is roll the fields. But keep them rolling and. Yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with how it's all coming up so far, the environment's scoring that. But I think a lot of it, we won't see the benefit of it, not until when we start actually harvesting the crops, so... So pretty much this year, it's just working on our environment's score. It's getting up, up as much as possible. All the fields now pretty much are... got the right amount of nitrogen. The exact right pH doesn't need any like plowing requirements or anything like that. There we go, that's empty. And all it needs now is rolling. Yeah, one, two fields means need some mulching, but what can you do at the end of the day? Just true there. So what we do is, once this is filled up, we will get this going to soar. We'll get you finished off on these fills, and then start on 28, and then we'll start doing the rolling. So there we go. Get you into the road. 
I want you to go to here, so somewhere like that. Why is that? Ah, I'll probably just slightly get your hair off or something. Here you go now, that's good. Where's the Deutsch Forest 7 series? Ah, that's here, so yep, that's the seeding done. And as you can see, it is all perfect. Expected yieldage, 15.3 tons per hectare. But we can get an extra 0.4 tons per hectare. And that will come from the rolling. But I think, yeah, I say, ooh, 0.3 tons per hectare may not seem a much. Or, or yeah, whatever. But, we have a look at some of our fields. So, for example, that is 7 hectares. So that is potentially an extra couple, easily a couple grand. When you take all consideration of all our fields, that point four or was it, four or seven tons per hectare, point four tons I think it was. That's two point one tons there, that's an extra two thousand one hundred litres. Just from that one field. And then insert whatever crop you may want there. That's a lot of money we're leaving on the table. Yeah, okay, fair enough. To roll in. Okay, we're looking at 2,000 litres. Let's say it's... Let's pick a crop in that. Soybeans. That's an extra... Actually, no. Let's not go with soybeans, because that's quite an easy one. But yeah, aim for our grains, so... Oats... Wheat, barley. Let's say 1100 for the barley. That is what? About 2400, 2500 from that one field? Let's do the math. So. Ah, no. Okay, that's from the farm. Not just the fields. I thought it was just the farm, but. Okay, so. 7. 8.3. So, 4, 11, 15. 15 hectares, 0.4 tons per hectare. Let's do the math sec. Uh, so, yeah, quick math check, and that is about 6 grand. Of course, not all this land here is arable, so. Okay, you can put a bit of an asterisk on it. But for the sake of... Actually no, me trying to justify it to myself is actually making me want to do a, video, a test on it. Obviously, small scale rolling may not be actually worth it. That extra few percentages. However, that doesn't tell the entire story. So that 3% in the field, that yieldage, makes a difference when you take into consideration the environmental score as well on top of it. So, yeah, might be a good test to do at some point. If we look at what needs rolling. 62, 7, 8, and 63. Yeah, that would be a fun test to do. Potentially. Obviously, it feels like silage or soybeans. Yeah. It's more beneficial to do the rolling, but for your other crops, hmm, it's hard to say. But, anywho, so let's go and get us in position. Already. 
and you're almost done. Let's go and take these. And we can also just go over keep or sell whatever we have left over. What is potatoes worth at the moment? Spuds, best time sell. Actually, not that too far off now. 584 here. Wait right, a few more months. Well, let's see. It depends on how much we get. If it's a few trade loads, then sure, put in storage. But if it ain't, then you know what? I'm happy just to leave it. I've go to the contract. Already that is almost 10% of the harvesting just from 28. That is 78% done. So you know what I'm going to do is quick get these done off camera. Get these fills finished off. Won't start the rolling quite yet, we'll do that in a minute. Worst case scenario is we can do the roll within into the winter because I'm pretty sure nothing grows in the winter apart from poplar, OC radish and sugar beet. I know that's a harvesting so yeah it won't have a growth state over the winter, I didn't think, would it? Well, always chance saying that, but... Let's go and get these done. Because these will take a while to do, so... Let me finish these off, and then I'll bring folks back in a few moments. So, alrighty, we are in the next day. And I have gone and decided to not roll the fields. So I'm going to take a gamble, return the roller because I'm just going to hit the fee on the roller and that. And overall, I'm gambling on whether or not it's worth it or not. For environment score, really, we should have rolled the field, but we could do that next year for the next crop. But for the last contract of the year, we're going to do this field of sugar beets on 138. So this gives us two traders, these two, and uh, we're using our Deutsche Farm and our own trader to cart these. And these will go to the sell everything sell point. Oh, we've got a cultivating contract on 111. Where is that to? 111. Oh, next to our field, so... Actually, what? We can do that. But yeah, money's gone up. That is, we got 27,500 from the contract. No, sorry. 20,000 from the contract. 27,500 in excess potatoes. And we did get a bit of extra money from some wood chips and that. Because there were some trees. Long story short, there were some trees that had to be cut down. Because the uh, harvester, even though it was big enough get into the lanes and that. One point had a clipping issue, it just clipped. A bit spastic with of how it was doing it, so yeah that's why we at the end lease a tree devour and I completely enough wood chips and that. Yeah logs and that trees are more worth it. Yeah trees are more worth it than wood chips but I think overall it was worth actually yeah it's worth just doing the wood chips and that so we'll use that perhaps in the next episode and oh boy this fills up very quickly and I mean like very quickly it fills it up So we're using their own Valtra, this is a free Q305, so 305 horsepowers. And how does it handle turns? 
I know we're going to miss bits now. Perhaps what we should have done is like a headland or so with the horn topper or whatever this is called or just the topper in general but yeah this fills up very quickly this is a small we're going to be emptying this a lot <laughs> and I do mean a lot but yeah so the roller re returns we're keeping the conveyor belts for now but we're going to get rid of those this month just because of the... we don't need to make more. That's a bit of silage is left in the pit. What, some, something like 75,000 litres? And we're already filled up. So alright, we'll hop over here. And yeah... This is going to take a few trips to do. Even with three traders. Good thing is, with these two traders we're releasing, we can have the option to tip side left or right, whilst one at the back. Oh no! That can do tip side left and right as well. Good to know! But yes, well, we'll be keeping up with some news and that, with some maps and that, some beautiful maps we've seen lately, like as of today as recording this episode, we had closer to home, a bit of a weird a literal sandbox map, uh, do you mean the literal definition of sandbox for Americans? That's what they call sandbox, right? Or something like that? I really hope we're not missing anything, but Court Farms Ideally I would have liked it to be out a lot sooner, I'd love to be out right now. Be watching like Dagon playing it, Chainsaw 100, even Farm Sim Guy with his contractor series on it. That map is absolutely stunning. Something to be holding that and I just can't wait to play on it. That's the thing, I cannot wait to play on that map. But as of recording this, from what I can gather about a week ago, it's wait since type giants are waiting to be tested. And waiting that this is well, something like between eight, ten work days, so about two weeks, so unless we see anything today on Friday. This episode should be coming out on Saturday, hopefully. Oop. Oops, we're full. Should we see it? Yeah. We're going to be going back and forth quite a bit with this. But yeah, from what I can gather. So hopefully, you should see in, in the test of this on Friday. If not, We'll see it being tested during next week, so then if that gets released next week, hopefully. Fingers crossed for PC, the update. That's when Auction Day will be using that update to work on the console. Perhaps now, when this is coming out on Saturday, may see it in September. Hopefully, but... You just never know. That's it. You never know. We don't know when maps are coming out. Maps are always past testing for a sign, but Auction Day has been lucky with his maps getting through testing, so who knows? And already that is ten percent off the field done. And with so much to go. But with No Man's Land, that's going on very well. As much as I love to smash out some No Man's Land episodes, I do love by Spring. Even if the episode takes longer to do and record, like last episode, I did eight hours off working at to literally get yeah eight hours of work or so 
for an episode. Yeah, a lot of that was contract works we've done in between episodes. And that has gone and helped us now because we're at 182 grand. We already did start paying some of our debt off, so I'm thinking. Pay some of it back now. Because I did notice in the used market, there is this the new Holland CH7.7. .7. Have a look at that here. So nice attachment, so it's got corn headers, some flower headers. What's the difference? There's no real difference in those. But yeah, the header we'll have to pay full price for. The very feed, 28 foot. But yeah, so I'll be, I'll be going looking at these and definitely this will work up the lanes. I have tested this and it just fits up the lanes and that, even that you are farming at. How to get it working, what I have to do is transport the combine on its own. And then using the header trailer to transport that separately. So I may gamble on that. Yeah, and it is a gamble, a huge gamble. This thing is emptying so quickly. I mean, I'm literally not kidding. Yeah, that's where. So, Rooster 604. That is such a small capacity. And yeah, we can try and get a bigger one now if we wouldn't try to sell ourselves, but I think it'll fit for that gate. Actually, even if it does, I think it will fit for the gate. But it's the turn radius, it's only literally three lanes off roads, basically. So I think if we do like this and empty it that, that's all right. No, I do. We'll turn around. Ah, uh, we'll wait for the worker to turn around. Perhaps go in. Oh no. It's gonna do that, is it? I think we're this just might as well worth just doing this ourselves, literally. Yeah, we're gonna miss bits now. Of course, we're gonna miss some bits of sugar beets and that. But whatever we miss from not picking it up, because I know we have missed bits, we can just go over with the harvester afterwards and pick it up ourselves. So yeah. What I'm going to do is get this finished off, hopefully, by dinner time. Hopefully. And then we'll start looking at the farming out, what we can look at into next year. Perhaps doing some pre preventive maintenance and that on the farm. But yeah, looking forward to that. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
there we go. So, yep, that is that done. We actually sold the wrong bits of the sugar beet, first of all. So, had to be do the thing they get around heads where the money is like two grand under because we had to fix that pretty much. But one thing I have noticed going around is there is a collectible around here. So, we're going to pick that up. It's a cedar, and we've got eight more of those to find. I think it's something like final 10, get yeah, 100 grand, so that is 110 grand for each category. So, yeah, they're definitely worth looking at. Uh, yeah, I said about close to dinner time. Uh, yeah, so we did get a worker to do some of it whilst we had a bit of an early lunch. Popped into the garage, had a little sandwich. And, yeah, so. What we're going to do now is head back and grab perhaps the devourer. Get some new wood chips in that. I might as well do that now. Also, I want to look at getting a bigger tanker because we've got a ton of Surrey. Just like from a cow's alone. Contract complete, that's another six grand. Be two. Still possible to get the combine. But yeah, we need to look at getting a cultivator because the best way to do about things is actually cultivate the fields first of all before direct seeding. First of all, I thought, you know what? Just whack the direct seeding in, but no, we do need a cultivator and a shadow cultivator. Yeah, so I'll grab the devourer and the trader. So I think I've left that over here at the shop. And whilst we're over here, we've got three quarters of a tank, so might as well fill up what's rear. Do need to look out as well possibly getting the fuel tank in, so cultivators, have a look. On oh, that no, a shadow one. We're using that on No Man's Land, and I or did use it. It is such a handy tool. Eight meters, just for nine grand. But I do want to stay away from that. Ooh, we can go with this. The Lemkin Holder Nine Six Hundred, six meter working with. Or go the Kuhn Disco Lander XM52. That is a grass seeder, like, yeah, grass, Aussie radish, and canola. Six meters, six meters, seven miles an hour. Let's go with this, I think. Hopefully, now, like, for the gates. Extension. Does that affect the width? Nope. Yeah, go black that wheels. And you know what? Before we use that combine, let's go and buy that. I should know, we'll do that in the next episode. So we'll keep our money for now in case we do need anything urgently. Ah, that's right, so the devourer's there. Where did we leave our trader to? Trader, where are you to? Did I leave it up here? Ah, I left it in the field over there, fair enough. So let me just go and grab that a sec. There we go. And just waiting in traffic with these pedestrians. But yes, yeah, so I with the cultivator, actually, even with that one, even if you go with the smaller one or the bigger one for the cheaper price, the only tractor that can redo it is this one here, the Deutsch Forest 7 series. Oh, come on, move. Oh, you know what? Really? 
Slam your brakes on you stupid car. Oh, you're bloody going left as well. I don't want to be so behind you. But now, where it's open roads, they're gaining a bit more speed. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so you've got a few wood chips to pick up with the help of the trees. This directly feeds into the trailer by the system. But yeah, I don't think there's going to be many trees, but... Ooh, there's going to be enough trees as it is. I, I got the right away. You can bug off. <laughs> but, yeah, so the gate for this field is over here. I'll just. Uh, go on. Don't go beeping at me. Absolute imbecile. But, yeah, in the grass fields. does, yeah, of course a whole rolling thing, and the weeds are grown, so we do need to get that on top, so we could do that over the winter, it's not a huge issue for us, but yeah, so it's like these trees, and just do it, get rid of, oh, do you not mean to do that, to the hedge row? It feels like we can do that with this before we can just do it with a chainsaw. Oopsie, my bad. Yeah, at least it clears space for the fields and that, so we'll work with stumps and that. Good for having trees and that, you know, good for the environment and that. But it can be a bit of a pain in the yards. Really not cooperating. Fair enough. Drop you down. Wait, hey, wrong. If you cut these down and properly managed it, we'll get back from this, but. Stumps may have to come back with a grinder. But anywho, put that up. That is 69,000 years of wood chips. Nice. So, wood chips, where are the best prices to sell those at the moment? 1500, buy a spring mark. Technically, the sell everything sell point is better. And it's just around the corner. It's like, they think it's slightly closer compared to the buy spring garage. So, we'll head over there and sell this first load. We get quite a bit of money from this, actually. This alone can pay off our debts. Sorry, bud. Them through. I think it's winter, people need wood chips for heating and that, so. And other use in agricultural, I'm sure there's other uses for wood chips, but I'm not too sure of. Perhaps like they'll sell it to the biogas plant, so we sell it here. 
and then they deliver it over to the biogas plant or distribute it across the country in Alf Ireland, perhaps. Something along the lines of those. But yes, yeah, so let's go and have a look here and see how much money we can get. Go tip side back, that's what we want. And boy, that is actually going to be quite a bit of money. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be our load paid off. I think I haven't got to it Surrey yet, and that's going to be quite profitable in itself. Maybe not as much as the wood chips, but. Damn. There goes the John Deere. Not sure what? Let's go and pay off our debt now. That's paid off the farm. I'm also getting a combine in that. Because we're looking at maybe another load of these. Still going. How much is that? What, 100 grand? 100,000, 100, not 100,000, 106,600 quid. That is a bit profitable. So I think let's grab one more load. And then we'll go for now, I think.
There we go, and I think I was actually quite successful all in all. Currently we're at 272 grand, but remember about 170 of that's going to go to the combine, the header and the header trailer, so yeah we'll get about 100 grand left, plus with whatever we sell the combine for. Oops, he was shot there. But yeah, this cultivator works very well. Managed to sight things up there quite well. But they are some of the more difficult things I do tend to have to encounter. And even managed to look at champ. Is there anything like a sword is? Perhaps over there next to the sight bells. Oh yeah, it reminds me we got those sight bells to sell as well, don't we? They're always up for mental, aren't they? 92%, so we're gonna actually have more money coming in. Obviously, these ones we're keeping for the cows, but we do have some at the biogas plant in the trailer. So let's go over there and have a look. So I think it was something like 22 bells. Got, so that is what 7,500 your bells, 7550. That's gonna be about 82.5 village. That's if the price is at 500. If it's more, that's even better for us. And it is so, yeah, we're more looking at possibly 90 grand. So that leaves us 190 grand after the combine. Things like a new field, or even maybe even true ourselves to a bigger tractor. But for example, we can sell the old Deutz far and the old combine and get some brand new equipment in. Obviously, the combine will be second hand. Yes, that would mean it wears a lot quicker, a lot faster now, and the maintenance will be a bit more than. Perhaps I'll light, but you know what? Oh, yeah, I've noticed that a few times. Like the Pacific JCB Tay handlers, they sort of at random moments where we're going past them, they just glitch through and that. So, heck knows what's going on there. But yeah, we've got all our side spells here. Obviously, after the game crash in the last episode, we did have to them back up. And we haven't unloaded them at all. So I'm thinking. Let's get time ahead a bit. Make sure these are fully fermented. There we go, they are silage now, so. Should go straight in. So you say about ninety grand or so. Ninety. If I had to guess, ninety thousand. We're gonna get ninety thousand pounds. And that's the bike has plan filled up. So that's got that to process. It. Yeah, that's the downside about the BGA. Could possibly buy this. Well, no, we cannot possibly buy it. What am I talking about? It was a lot cheaper than that, but it ain't. But you know what? We're not going to have to do much here over winter, so I am my skipping by. Anything else popped up in the used market? McCormick. Oh, not interested in that. You know what? Get that convoy now. Pretty sure I did just pop up today, but I do not want to lose that. Well, actually, I'll change that back. Yeah, I kept it 
look out just for the thumbnail. Any contracts? That's 85 grand. 86 grand, so I said 92. We still have some more bells left. So you know what? Let's go and skip to the morning. Okay, ignore that whole property income. That was something that I sort of did. Again, because of the mess up glitch and that, so... Yeah, obviously that hasn't affected our money at all. Haven't cheated the money that we've gained profit in that. That's just to fit some accidental mess ups. Oh, got some. Oh, really? A cotton harvester and a. That'd be nice, but. So, 86 grand. Plus that. Which is what? 10, 96, 94 grand, so just slightly more than I guess, so that ain't too bad actually. So we're left with a quarter of a million, and we still got more money coming in from the Surrey. And manure that we're going to sell today in the next episode. There we go, sun is rising. Anything interesting popped up in the used market as well? Nope. Animals are doing alright. The calves need more food. No worries, we'll give some milk and then rest in silage. A cultivating contract, sure, we'll do that. But yeah, on that note, that's where I'm going to leave it today. We're such a high note now. And yeah, it's just keeping it rolling and hopefully for the best of everything. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very just do. Hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.